Hi everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this video is about the Amazon Fire Phone. But before we get to that, you guys know I like to pretend to be active sometimes. Well, did you know that Sony makes an action cam for action-y environments? I didn't know that until they told me, and now I'm telling you. Check out this footage from the Sony Action Cam. The deal with Sony's Action Cam is you can take it pretty much anywhere, from the half pipe to halfway out to sea. Whether you're an extreme surfer like these pro athletes, or more of a relaxed paddler. Rapids to racetracks to bike trails to the slopes, the Action Cam's image stabilization, live view remote, and GPS combine with its full HD resolution to make it one heck of an extreme camera. If you want to see more Action Cam footage, click the link right here or the one down in the description below. Whichever one works for you, head on over to the Action Cam YouTube page and toss them a subscribe while you're over there. Seriously, go ahead and do it right now. We'll still be here when you get back, I promise. If you're just returning, welcome back and thank you for your patience. Let's talk about the Amazon Fire Phone. Amazon's Fire Phone is something we're still getting to know in the Pocket Now Labs, and our full review is coming soon. While it's not a perfect smartphone by any means, one thing that's getting lost in all the press so far is that the Fire Phone can be an awful lot of fun in a lot of different ways. Here's three of them. Amazon's Fire OS uses side-sliding panels to add extensibility to most screens. And while you're perfectly within your rights to use a bezel flick with a thumb to trigger those, there's a better way. A slightly tougher way to get used to, but a way funner way. A way that we call flick that wrist. This is a similar gesture to the camera launch twist on the Moto X, but here it serves to deploy those side panels. It's reasonably reliable once you get the hang of the wrist action, and while it's not exactly more convenient, you'd be surprised how quickly you start to like it, and how soon you miss it when you're using another phone. In that same boat is the tilt to scroll gesture in the Fire Phone's browser, something that manufacturers have been trying to make work since 2008, if not before. The Fire Phone's hardware finally makes that possible here in a deployment that works surprisingly well most of the time. And this one is a bit more handy, if you'll pardon the pun, because it can make one-handed use that much easier. The Fire Phone's Firefly feature has gotten some flack for coming off like a fancy way to shop for things on Amazon and not much else. And while that is its principal purpose, it's also got some cool secondary features. You can let it listen to basically anything you're watching, and in seconds it pegs the show and gives you links to buy it, learn more about it, and if you've downloaded third-party apps that interface with Firefly, you get more info, like its Rotten Tomatoes rating. The same goes for music which Firefly identifies almost as quickly, totally eliminating the need to download an app like Shazam. It's also really quick to launch, with just a long press on the side key. This last point might seem like a cop-out, but doing almost anything with the Fire Phone's dynamic perspective display is usually more fun than on a conventional panel. We're not necessarily talking about the obvious fun uses like in games, though that's a good time too. Really, the unexpected fun here comes when you can just tilt the phone slightly sideways to reveal things like the status bar up top, or descriptors on the side menu, or call times in the call log, or review scores in Firefly. You can set some of that stuff to be persistent if you want, but confining it to a glance keeps the screen cleaner longer, something we used to love about Windows Phone in particular. And finally, Amazon has also loaded plenty of lock screen depth effects to make sure the unlock experience doesn't get stale. So those four cameras on the front are constantly justifying their existence. Amazon's first smartphone is a learning experience for consumer and manufacturer both, and we'll delve more deeply into that in our full review coming soon. For now, we hope you've enjoyed a peek at what Amazon has made possible by thinking outside their cardboard delivery boxes and stay tuned for more on the Fire Phone here and at PocketNow.com. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher with PocketNow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.